with you and your neighbors wherever you are because this is Engine, the place where we come to learn about the world and how to live in peace with all living beings. Hi everyone! She forgot to tell you her name is Nena. Good thing she's my neighbor and I know her. My name is Gigi and I have a question for you Nena. Hi Gigi, what's your question? Do we have to love our neighbors even if they do things that make us cross? Uh, no, but it helps. The thing about neighbors is this. You have to respect each other and you have to want the same thing for your neighbor as you want for yourself. So if you want peace and quiet, you should give your neighbors peace and quiet. Exactly! It's a two-way street. And that actually brings us to our discussion for today. We're going to find out how neighbors can disturb each other and how we can live together without hurting each other. And in this case, the neighbors we are talking about are wild animals! <gasps> are we going to visit elephants again? Yes, say yes, say yes. Yes, we are going to visit elephants because there are places where it's not easy to have elephants as neighbors and what we call human wildlife conflict takes place. Wild animals don't always make the best neighbors. Not that we're great at it either, but we all love elephants, so we have to find ways to live together without fighting. And to do that, we have to get to know our neighbors. Ranger Lillian, Penzi, Trish, and Liam will show us how. elephants you see how wise they are he was trying to communicate I want to cross but you're blocking me that's why I did that they always use their brains you've seen they've walked and now they are crossing from afar where they think they are safe so these animals if you don't attack them they will not attack you so where does the conflict come from when it comes to them and humans this is a negative interaction between the wildlife and the human. When elephants cross from the park boundaries to the community, they destroy a lot of things. So they will destroy the crops, the people get hungry, and when they get hungry, they try to fight the elephants. So that's where the conflict starts. So, someone will say, your animals are the ones that destroyed my crops, maybe I would have sold and got money. So at the end of the day, they come to the park to poach and go sell that meat and come and kill an elephant to get ivory, then sells the ivory. We used to have corridors where elephants would walk from Uganda to South Sudan, but now because of the increasing number of population, people have built in those corridors, they are no longer there. But these elephants, because their memory still remember, we used to cross from here and go to South Sudan, they always try to look for their way. They end up destroying a lot of property, even human lives. Do elephants have good memory? Elephants have very perfect memory and this is one also of the reasons as to why we have animal problem issues. During seasons like especially the dry seasons when they are moving long distances for water and food. If possibly this year they move the distance to the community and access to water. The next season when it is dry and they are still lacking water they will go back to the same place. It seems that elephants remember everything that is important to them, which is a good thing. But is what is good for elephants good for us? Uh, maybe not, if you think about the people who live too near the elephants. But if you remember that elephants need lots of space to walk, maybe we can stay out of their way by not planting crops or building roads where they find food and water. That way, they will stay out of our way, so everybody wins. 
But what if we can't help it and we need the space? Mm, then we have to find ways of changing their behavior without hurting them. Is that possible? They're much bigger and much heavier than we are. Oh, yes, it is. Let's go back to the park with Liam, Penzi, and Trish to find out. Ranger Lillian wanted to show us how the communities living around the park protect themselves and their crops from elephants. We are here to meet one of the villages, which is just very close to our park. You remember wow. we've just left the park so close here? Yeah. And this is one of the villages which is very close. So what do you think can happen when the park, I mean the village is very close to the park, just right there? Because then the animals in the park will come here. Yes, automatically. As the place is very close like that, the community makes sure that they stay in harmony with the elephants. So children, meet Emma, he's the community officer of this place. I would like you to join this community scout so that you experience Wow. How they chase elephants. I have these equipment. Can you choose? Try, try. Yeah. Right. Great. I think we are... Is it difficult to live near the elephant? They come into the community, destroy crops, disorganize each and every homestead. Definitely, it's really very hard to live near the elephant. In a season where people are about to do harvest, they come like every day, even morning, they will eat not until they leave nothing. We are going to chase these elephants. Those guys, you see them, five in numbers. That is, we are assuming that that is a herd of elephants. Uh, elephants are now destroying crops. Check, check over there. That is a lot of noise. What a racket. The whole community gets involved in this noise-making ritual. Oh, it looks like the elephants are turning back. We saved the crops. So that is how they do this. It's just a demonstration. We are learning every day. Ranger Emma took us to the next village over to learn about another solution to the elephant problem. Let's go and meet the villagers. Their work, they make smelly organic repellent. It's for repelling Against, elephants yeah, away, away from, from their food crops. But they, can the elephants still attack you? Obviously, elephants do attack. We are going to meet the villagers, okay? Elephants usually come here every evening. If you think the first one was bad on the ears, get your noses ready for this one. Let me give you gloves. A pair each. This organic repellent goes through different stages. See, I see you have some egg. Yeah. The I ingredients. Think Oily, cooking oil. Garlic. Excellent. Garlic. Garlic. Come closer and look at this. Is that mint leaves or? What is this? Poop. Leaves for this neem tree. What's that? What is this? Chili. This is chili. Oh, no. Onions. 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 Oh, yeah, they make they you cry. They make you cry. What is this? Oh. Is that we also elephant? mix it with We've elephant killed. dungs, elephant pupu. Some people call it pupu. None of these animals would love to eat its own pupu. I think they use that yeah. because the elephants don't like the spray of that Excellent. Smell. Elephants do not like these sprayers. So when you spray on the crops, Elephant will not come and destroy crops. So why doesn't the other village use the same? They also use it. They, this is the group that make and distribute to some of them. Water is boiling. So what do you put inside that? Yeah, we are going to put those items. And blow. Can you blow? Do you have enough gas? Yeah. 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 You blow. Oh, wow. Come on. an elephant to eat any crop sprayed with this? No. No! We are going to apply our organic repellent. These bottles, it's one of the application methods. Oh. What do the bottles have? The same? Yeah, yeah. same this is the one that they put the other previous evening. Mm. So we need to top it up. 
X. Oh, oh how strong. So nasty. Oh, this smells like garbage. Oh. garbage. So why do you put them in the in the bottle? It's gonna hold it for you. Why? Because we make a hole, then it keeps on dripping. The elephants come. It, the, the, the smell can go move around. Are you smelling it? Ah! No. Guys, you're great farmers. And here's another way of applying the stinky yeah. elephant repellent. You apply? The smell. <coughs> this one is our local spray. Oh, yeah. John. Let's go this way. Slowly. Go away, elephants. elephants don't, don't come back. Don't come back. Go away, elephants. 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 Don't come back. Elephant facts. Elephants. Elephants have an incredible sense of smell. The elephant trunk is both an upper lip and a nose, with two nostrils running through the whole thing. Elephants are said to be able to smell water from several miles away. Aside from smell, the trunk is sensitive to vibrations. From the ground, it can sense the rumble of hearts or thunder far, far away. Isn't that a cool elephant? Baby elephants are quick to walk. It takes us humans one year to master walking. Elephant babies can stand within 20 minutes of being born and can walk within one hour. After two days, they can keep up with the herd. Isn't that a cool elephant? An elephant never forgets. Have you ever heard the phrase, memory like an elephant? It means excellent memory. The elephant's temporal lobe, which is the area in the brain associated with memory, is larger and denser than that of people. That's why their memory is so good. Do you have a memory like an elephant? See how many elephants you can remember after watching the show. Elephant facts. Elephants. Science, you and me. Moving your body in any shape and form is good for you. You don't need a gym or equipment. Just watch and follow me. Today, we are in the savannah. Let's move like animals surrounding us. An elephant with a big ear and long trunk. If you want to pretend like a giraffe, first you have to stretch your body because giraffe is very, very tall. So let's stretch together. And now you move like a giraffe very, very slow. Doing like giraffe. and think much better. I like how Tavi walked like a giraffe. It was so funny. And I liked how easy it was to move the elephants away from the crops by making stinky things and loud noises. People can be so clever if they just use their brains rather than weapons to solve problems. 
And those are not the only ways to stop conflict between elephants in the wildlife parks and their neighbors in the villages. Really? Yes, really. You'll be surprised by this next method. I got a real buzz out of it. Where we are, you see, on our left is mm -hmm. just our, our community or the village of people where they are staying. Mm -hmm. And right here is a park. The barrier of uh, the villa community and the park is the road. The road, yes. You see those houses? Yeah. yeah. How far are they from here? Not That's very far, just. Not very far. So what do you expect? The elephants can still eat their crops. Yes. So this village had to get a measure on how best they can live in harmony <laughs> with the animals. Look at what is in front of us. We are beehives. Oh, wow. You know them? Yes. yes. So these are the beehives. So they are just at the boundaries. Stretch your eyes up to there. What? There's so many. Exactly. In front of us is the chairperson of the village group. He's called Mr. Hakim. Hi, Hi Mr. Mr. Hakim. The bees are the enemies to the elephants. When the elephants come, then if it happens to touch on these wires, check, then the bees will come out. Turns out that huge elephants are scared stiff of tiny little bees because the bees get inside of their long elephant trunk and sting from inside. Aside from uh, chasing away the elephants with your bees, yes. what is uh, what? What are the use of bees? Do you get income or when we harvest the bees, we get the honey, we feed our community. Then much of the honey, we also sell it. Would you like to see how we harvest? Yeah. Yeah. We had to be covered head to toe in beekeeper's suits so that no bee would sting us. We also used smoke from special smoke pots to keep the bees calm during the hive inspection. Okay. Okay, now, that's right. So now, since the bees enter from here, okay, we know that this, air, this area is for producing young ones, okay? Now when we check, we want to check the honey. We can start from here. Let's come, come, let's go. Okay, wow, so here knows, it shows that there's nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing. It's not there. Okay, uh -huh. then here. Okay. So there's something here. Uh -huh. Can okay. we open it? Yeah. As you smoke inside. Yeah? Smoke inside. Oh, that's a smoke. lot. Is that honey or bees? These are bees, eh? So why do you need the bees? Okay. <gasps> that is honey. See? Oh my god, is that honey? Wow. There is some honey. Oh, there are too many people. Oh, yes. Good. Yes. That's so cool. So if you take their honey, do they get angry? Yes. That's why if they can get you, they can sting you. Okay. That's right. Honey over there. Yeah. So yeah. someone oh, could smoke for you. Hi. Hi. Smoke, 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 smoke. Mm -hmm. So you have to remove those. Put it up. Put it up so that the bees go inside. Eh? The other I side. Put it there, put there for that. That's right. <gasps> oh my god, honey. <laughs> Lift it up? Yes. Wow. Yes. Now this one is the younger bees, eh? Yeah. The bees are here are not seeing. Hmm? We don't remove this one. Because these younger There's ones no... are the workers which are we should produce more honey. In the name of chasing elephants. The community here or the village also get honey that they sell and get some money. So cool. Oh my god, I want to taste the honey. Can you we take it off and taste? But now when they get money out of the honey that they have got from here, they cannot think of coming to poach animals, but they go and buy meat from the market. Is the elephants come or because of the bees they stopped coming? They don't cross from this place where the interventions are. Yeah. The people outside there, they are free, they are sleeping freely.
under the stars like that and not be scared of elephants and other wild animals? Um, I'm not so sure. I'd still be a bit scared. I mean, the bees may be good at keeping some elephants away, but can they really stop a whole lot of elephants? Have some faith, Gigi. The people in those villages have been living near the elephants for so long that they know how to deal with them. Are you sure? Okay, I know you're worried, but there's one more method Mr. Hakim showed us. Trish, Liam, and Penzi, and I hope he convinces you too. This trench, uh, it is one of the innovations you said helped us in conjunction with wildlife. Elephants were crossing from everywhere, and it was difficult for the communities to chase because here they are entering, there they are entering everywhere. It took about six months to dig this trench. We employ the very villagers of this place to come and dig these trenches such that they feel they are benefiting out of the presence of the park. <laughs> yeah, but how about if they cross here, the rain falling? Elephants, they are more wiser than any other wild mm. animal, and they cannot make a mistake of falling into this trench. Very good, very good, very good. I want to try climbing up by myself. Are you sure? <laughs> Once you've learned about all the peaceful methods the community has come up with to stay at peace with their elephant neighbours, it was time for a celebration. In conservation, there's what we call big five, and the first one is that elephant. Why is it considered to be the big five? We look at its contribution towards the balancing of an ecosystem or the environment where other animals stay. It can change a forest into a savanna and a savanna into a forest. This is how important elephants are. Elephants, as they feed, they keep pushing trees, breaking tree branches, uprooting some of the plants, and as they're doing that, if it was a forest, then they will open up the forest and the sun will hit the ground, then the grass will germinate and it will attract the small animals to come. So you see how important elephants are. If they are not there, the cobs will not be there, the uh, oribis will not be there, the, dig -dig. the buffaloes may not be there, the dick dicks may not be there. Let us try and stay in peace with different animal species and most especially the elephants. Do you agree with me? Yes! And so say all of us. We all say it, but now we have to act on it. All we need is good fences because good fences make good neighbors. In this case, the fence is a trench and we've got beehives, pots and pans and ta-da! Good elephant neighbors. Do you think elephants will remember all the good things we are trying to do by fighting poachers rather than all the bad things that some people are doing to them? They have good memories, so they'll remember everything. Mm -hmm. But I hope they'll remember a time when we loved and respected them so much, some of us even called ourselves by the name Elephant. Really? I didn't know that. So many people have the surname or clan name Elephant in different languages. Mm. Can you think of it in your languages? There's Ndlovu or Oliphant in some South African languages, Tembo in Swahili. I think that shows that we love them long before we hurt them. That's something we should remember. There's something else we should remember. I know. Let's look, let's learn, and let's love. And don't forget to make it fun! Are you enjoying Engine? Post your comments on our Facebook or Instagram page at Engine TV Africa. Has the show changed the way you look at science, the way you approach learning? 
the way you see the world around you? Let us know and you might be invited to appear on the show. Thank you.